Now, News 10 NBC Sports with Breland Moore. Well, welcome back, everyone. As the saying goes, the almighty dollar is king in the sports world, and the Buffalo Bills are certainly no exception. It's the reason why Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor will be seeing the bench this week, and E.J. Manuel will get the start. News 10 NBC's Rich Donnelly spent all day in Buffalo and has more on the story. Well, thank you, Breland. Regardless of the politics behind the decision to fire Rex Ryan, the fact is that Anthony Lynn is now the interim head coach of the Buffalo Bills. Although, as Lynn says, he's not using his one game as head coach as a job interview for a permanent position. I'm really not thinking that far down the road because I don't want to miss out on anything right now. I want to stay in the now. And like I said, I want to get this team ready, Vic, to go out and play the best we can to beat the New York Jets. As far as the quarterback situation goes, Tyrod Taylor is benched for the game against the Jets. And the players in the locker room say that now they have to rally around EJ Manuel. As players got to be professionals and handle that, and we rally behind EJ. Now it's EJ's turn to go out there and show what he can do, and uh, we're excited about it. There's decisions that are made that um, you may agree with or you may not agree with, but you have to you have to block that out and, and do your job and focus on the task at hand. The coverage recognition is probably uh, night and day much better. You know, I think that's an area where I needed to grow. You know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, and uh, going against our first team defense every single day for the past 15, 16 weeks, um, I think it's really helped me out to me. Yeah, I just want to win. That's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, and it, at the end of the day, you know, everybody can play in this league. Everybody can throw. Um, I think quarterbacks are, you know, you're based or you're judged off winning. And um, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Whether or not these decisions work out is yet to be determined. We'll have to wait for the game to end and see what happens in the off season. But the front office, at least, hoping that these are the next steps towards ending the 17-year playoff drought. Reporting in Buffalo, Rich Donnelly, News 10, NBC Sports.